All right, so I posted this question on the Facebook um, page, and that was the question of the day for yesterday. So the question actually reads, how many 750 milligram potassium chloride tablets should a patient take to obtain 30 milli equivalent potassium chloride? All right, so in a, I'll just take you through the solution and hopefully it helps um, all of you out there. All right, so let's now take a look at the solution. First of all, we need to recall our equation. So for milli equivalents, we know that milli equivalents may be written as the ratio of the milligrams to molecular weight, which basically is your millimole, and you multiply that by valence. Now, because of how the question is phrased, we are more interested in the milligram quantity. Okay, so we are actually more interested in figuring out how many milligrams we have, and then we will connect that um, information to how many tablets we can get. So we can rearrange this equation and now just plug in the number, so rearrange it and end up with milligrams being equal to uh, milli equivalent times molecular weight, all of that divided by valence. So we know that milli equivalents um, for this particular problem it tells us it's 30 milli equivalents of potassium we do know the molecular weight so the only thing that is not given to us directly is the valence so we could set up the stoichiometric equation where you have potassium chloride so when you put this in an aqueous environment it's going to dissociate into a potassium ion and then a chloride anion. The valence essentially is going to be the absolute of either of these charges. So we just need the absolute value of either the plus or minus one. So regardless of which one we pick, the valence for this compound is going to be one. Okay, so just keep note of that. Valence for KCL is equal to one. So now we know everything and we can plug that into the equation. Okay, so milligrams is going to be equal to 30 times 75 all divided by the valence of one. And if you do the algebra, I believe you end up with 2,250 milligrams. But we don't stop here because the question is asking how many tablets do we actually need? So we do know that the quantity that is needed for this particular scenario is 2,250 milligrams. However, we know that each tablet is 750 milligrams. So 750 milligrams is the quantity of KCL in each tablet. So this cancels out, and I believe this cancels out and gives you three. So we end up with three tablets. That's what is needed in this particular problem. Okay, so we need three tablets to provide the 30 milli equivalents.
So I'm just going to recap the high points. You want to always remember your equation. Because kindly know that no equation sheet is allowed, for example, on the NAPLEX exam. So you want to memorize this. It's a relatively simple question, um, equation, so just try and memorize it. Then you want to be very comfortable determining valence. Here we had a relatively simple compound, but you should be able to figure out what the valence is. Normally, it's a good idea if you are still not comfortable with this valence determination to set up the stoichiometric equation, make sure it's balanced, and then you can figure out the valence from there. The rest is basically algebra, but then this had one more step where we wanted to correlate the actual amount of quantity in milligrams to a tablet. And so once you've done that, we end up with three tablets. So hopefully this particular solution helped you and also reminded you of some of the pertinent components in determining milli equivalents. If you have any questions at any time, just drop me an email at info at rxcalculations.com or simply go onto the website and then fill in the contact form.